There are people who believe that they have a God-given right to rule over others. They believe that their outward appearance is superior to all others. They harbor selfish ambitions to be rich and to have power over what they describe as common people. They lie, cheat, steal, strangle, stab and slash their way to power. They believe that their actual willpower, what the British occultist Alistair Crowley described as the will of Thelema, the royal will, must be obeyed. Literally millions of people have been slaughtered at the behest of the royal lust for war. And thousands of people have been assassinated so that demonic dukes and killer queens can reign supreme. This cabal of crowned killers use the global network of secret societies, loosely described as the Illuminati, to do their bidding and killing. The conspiratorial view of history is the correct view of history. Conspiracy to grab property, conspiracy to make illegal profits, and conspiracy to assassinate has been the driving force behind the royal political elite for thousands of years. Many people believe that conspiracy in world politics simply does not exist. But it is a provable fact that the royal political elite have committed murder to gain power over and over again throughout the ages. Many of these murders were the result of a conspiracy usually orchestrated by politicians and aristocrats serving members of royal families. The Roman Emperor Julius Caesar was stabbed to death on the Ides of March. This was a conspiracy. US President Abraham Lincoln was shot at point-blank range by a distant relative of the British Prime Minister's wife, William Booth. This was a conspiracy. Every November the 5th, the gunpowder plot is celebrated. Guy Fawkes planned to explode a bomb beneath the Houses of Parliament. This was a conspiracy. In recent times, we have seen the last truly popular President of the United States, Mr. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, assassinated. This was a conspiracy. According to Muhammad al-Fayed, Princess Diana was the latest victim of a royal conspiracy in which she was allegedly murdered under orders from the British royal family. History teaches us that the royal elite have killed before, and it is most likely that they will kill again. Many people believe that capital punishment, usually in the form of hanging, is no longer permitted in Britain. 
This is not so. The royal family still reserve the right to prosecute and then hang someone if found guilty of treason. Treason in its most harmless form is simply criticism of the royal family. A more serious form of treason would be to conspire, just as Guy Fawkes did, to attack the very heart of the royal political establishment. And another serious form of treason would be to accuse the royal family of murder and thus turn public opinion against the monarchy, possibly resulting in the dethronement of the royals. This film does commit treason, but it is the truth. History tells us that the German impostors who occupy the British throne have consistently tortured, illegally imprisoned, and even murdered, sometimes with their own hands, people who have criticized the monarchy throughout history. This film, for the first time ever, exposes the murderous and in some cases downright satanic activities of the monarchy. It begin. For the crowned killers of Europe, torture, disemboweling, hanging, burning, strangling, poisoning, and killing in the most satanic manner is the order of the day. This is the modus operandi of royal families. For centuries, the royal elite have devised terrible punishments for anyone accused of treason. The monarchy reserved the most disgusting forms of torture and death for those who questioned the royal will. A so-called traitor would often have each arm and leg tied to four horses, which were whipped to gallop in opposite directions, thus ripping the victim into four parts, whilst still alive. Often, the royal elite would divide the victim's heart into sections and send these for public display to different parts of the country as a macabre warning. The British throne has been bathed in blood for centuries. At one time, Britain contained several small kingdoms. These small kingdoms, ruled over by an intermarried, self-elected elite, were gradually amalgamated into the single monarchy which rules over Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, England, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and secretly controls the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> 